I stumbled into this food menu carousel online in CodePen and I thought it would be interesting to show the process of how I create this into an Elementor widget which is editable from the Elementor editor. So my approach to doing this, uh, first of all, I want to clean out the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, make sure I don't have anything I don't need, and uh, change the CSS from C SCSS to a regular CSS language. So over here, I'm going to fork this code pen, which just creates a duplicate, which I can edit and use as my own. And in this small little arrow, I'm going to click on it and click View Compiled uh, CSS. What this does, it just uh, rewrites the CSS into regular CSS. I'm going to copy that CSS in CodePen in the settings. I'm going into CSS and I'm going to change the CSS processor to none. Save and close. And now I need to replace what I have over here with what I copied before and it's working great. Another thing I'm going to change in over here is um, this red background and, and this after statement. So I'm just going to delete these because I don't need them and we're left only with the carousel. We can't see the arrows right now because they're white and maybe we can find where to change this okay I think it's over here color let's change it to black and we can change the border of these also to black perfect so I think that looks good another thing I'm going to change is instead of using a dollar sign I'm gonna write jQuery and with a big Q all the other letters are small uh, the reason I do this is to avoid conflicts. Sometimes there might be conflicts uh, in our WordPress when using a dollar sign and jQuery. So my food menu carousel is ready right now. And now we can copy and paste the code into Elementor. So I'm in my WordPress. I have unlimited elements installed. Unlimited, unlimited elements has a widget creator which allows users to create their own widgets. Most of the features in the widget creator are free. Uh, anything I'm showing in this tutorial is uh, available in the free version. So we're going into food menus category. The reason I'm changing the category is because when I add a widget, it will add it to the existing category. By the way, uh, wherever you see the word web, the label web, this means that this widget isn't installed in our Elementor. Unlimited Elements is a widget library and all of its widgets are in a cloud, stored in a cloud. And if you decide to use one of the pre-made widgets, just hover over them and click install and then it installs it to your website. We're creating a custom widget, so I'm going to click add widget. I'm going to give my widget a name. I'm going to call it food menu carousel and click add widget. I've done that uh, it's added it over here and to edit our new widget I'm just gonna double click. Over here in the first screen what's important is to choose an icon so maybe I need to look for a food icon or something that resembles so Here's a sort of food icon. I'm going to choose that. And that will be the icon that shows up inside of Elementor. The next step is to copy the HTML. So I'm just going to copy the HTML from CodePen and paste it over here. Looks good. Next step, CSS. I'm going to copy the CSS. And another step is copying the JS. So I'm just going to copy and paste that over here into the JavaScript tab. Perfect, so we have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. What the next step is, is adding our includes. So let's jump into this tab, 
In this tab, uh, we have some pre-made uh, libraries that we can use, or we can include our own libraries using a CDN, for example. So you just paste the CDN over here. But the libraries we need right now is jQuery and Owl Carousel. So I've marked those two, and I'm going to click Update to save. I just want to show you in CodePen where you can see these, so inside of settings. If we go into JavaScript, you can see over here what's loaded is jQuery and Owl Carousel. Perfect, so we have everything set up. And before creating fields and making this editable, I just want to make sure it's working. So I'm going into Pages, And I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to call it Food Menu. I'm going to publish. Edit with Elementor. And over here, I'm going to search for Food Menu. Here it is, the Food Menu carousel we created, the widget we created. And when I put it inside of Elementor, I see it's working. Now, this is only the first step. We just, uh, we're just checking the HTML and CSS are working. And as you can see, we, we can't edit the widget yet. So the next step is to create uh, fields so this widget can be editable. I'm jumping back into the widget creator. And over here, under item attributes, I'm going to click enable items yes. What this does, it generates a loop. Now, the way I'm going to use the loop is inside of the HTML. In the HTML, we can see that uh, whoever wrote this HTML, uh, he marked over here that this is the start of the item, item 1, and this is the end of item 1. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave only one item. The reason I leave only one item and I'm deleting all the other items is because we're only going to need one item to create our loop. So I'm going to copy this one item, going to cut it out, and instead of that, I'm going to click on an attribute here inside of the widget creator, which is called put items. What this does, it generates the loop. So I clicked on that, and what it's going to loop is whatever HTML exists over, uh, over here in item HTML. So I'm going to paste the item HTML. And the next step is to start creating attributes for each field we want to be editable inside of the item. So the first one, which comes by default when creating items, is a title. If we go back inside of item attributes, you can see that it generates this one automatically. So we're going to use that one, and then we're going to create the ones that we're missing. So instead of the title over here, I just select that and replace it with the dynamic attribute. Now, whatever we're missing is an image, a price, and a description. Very, very simple. So I'm going into item attributes. I'm going to click add attribute, and the first attribute will be image. I'm going to give it a name, click tab and add attribute. The next attribute is going to be price. For price, I'm going to use a number field. And you can learn about all of these fields in our documentation. Each field is used in a different way. Let's call this one price. Perfect. We can give a default value. And let's add our last attribute. This one I'm going to use instead of a text field, I'm going to use a text area that just gives us a little bit more amount of space to write in our description. I'm going to call it description and add that. Inside of the HTML, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to replace the image source with the image field we've added on the right side. Instead of the price, I'm going to replace that with the price field. And instead of the description, I'm going to replace that with the description we've created. Let's click Update. 
jump back into item attributes and I want to add over here a default value which is the description we had in the HTML and I'm going to allow font editing let's allow font editing also for the title and give that a default value and click update let's save jump back into Elementor refresh let's save before refreshing perfect now I'm clicking on the widget and as you can see it's empty now if I look inside of items which is a new accordion that has opened for us we can see that it's empty and there are no items that's why it's showing kind of grayish and disabled but if I'll start adding items I can actually see them being added to our carousel they are missing images but we can upload those so let's see if I have any images over here so for example I'm just gonna use this image as an example perfect and you can see I can add an image to each item now of course you can uh, duplicate and uh, delete items or reorder them using uh, element the Elementor uh, editor perfect so that's our carousel we got it set up and uh, as I said before you can duplicate or delete items or drag and drop to reorder them uh, which you're familiar already with Elementor the last thing I want to go over is the regular attributes because we didn't add any regular attributes but what this is used for is just some general settings you might want to have for example maybe you want to be able to determine the gap between the items inside of the carousel or maybe you want to be able to determine the background color of each uh, item inside of the carousel so let's just add those two attributes as a example so the first one is going to be background color and I'm going to choose a color picker field I'm going to give it a default value using the color picker and I'm going to add another one which is going to be called margin between items and for this I'm going to choose a number field over here in the default value I'm going to give it 30 and a suffix of none let's see where we use these attributes so the background color is going to be uh, coming from our CSS so I think it's over here this details uh, background color I'm gonna switch that off with the new attribute we created here on the right side and for the margin I think that's coming from the JavaScript so I'm going into the JavaScript tab and over here we can see there is a value of 30 for the margin we're going to replace that with the attribute we created click update to save and over here in Elementor I'm going to save again and refresh I'm going to click and we can see that we can change the background color of this bottom part as we added and uh, maybe also change the margin between the items that's working great as well. So that was a quick tutorial of how to create your own Elementor widgets uh, that have items inside of them. In this case, of course, you can uh, create anything you want, which is really unique. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. If you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And see you next time. Thank you.